So the way spline meshes work is you have a spline, right? This is your spline. And then you have segments, right? You have a segment here at the start. You have a segment here. And let's say you have um, a couple of segments here. It's divided like this, right? So this is your spline. If you use a spline mesh to spawn something, it will span from here to here, here to here, here to here, and here to here. And if you have segments here, if you have enough divisions, it will look like a bent. But you will get one, two, three, four. So if you're doing it with quote unquote a cliff, then it will spawn four of them and they will be this size in terms of its length. So if you want to have a different distance here, you could do something similar to what I did with the spline mesh tutorial. Right, which is create the spline however you want. So for example, let's say you created it with three points. So you then you use a spline sampler to get those three points. Then you once again go to create spline. When you create the spline, you create it with three points. Then you get your three points and you use those three points right from here to create a new spline. Assuming that you need the three points. If you didn't need the three points, you just say the spline sampler, you can just tell it to be like 10, 10 points here. But I'm assuming that you're, you're using, uh, you want this to be a nice curve, whatever it is, right? So you want this specific number. If you don't need a specific number, you end it here and you say, hey, just make it 10 and then it'll put, you know, it'll make it smaller, right? So when you create the spline sampler, you do this. Now, that's one way to do it. But keep in mind that if you're by distance, your point ends here, that means the last one will be absolutely tiny. So an alternative way to do it is go by um, segments. So you could specify, I want 10 here. Spread around however you want, but I want 10 pieces here. And then you'd be like, okay, well, they're too small. Let me ch change the 10 segments to be five segments. And then you have this. Oh, this is four. But yeah, you get the point, right? So segments might be the thing to make it even across the spline no matter what. But keep in mind that if you stretch it, Right, you'll need more segments to keep the same distance. But that's basically how spline meshes work. They go from point to point. This is a spline mesh. This is a spline mesh, right? That means these are unique. But if you don't use spline meshes, then your mesh is just here and here as instances. So it's significantly cheaper in performance as long as you don't need it to perfectly like be smooth or like curve. You're fine with it being like you know like this then you can get away with just having it instanced and be fine it'll be significantly cheaper because again every single uh spline mesh segment becomes its own unique thing 